so much for being here tonight. You've made the point consistently that you're a rational human being, and the reason that you cannot believe in God or the Christian God is because of lack of evidence. So my question is simple. What are you living for, and what is the preponderance of evidence, this overwhelming evidence, that what you are living for is true? Because obviously you said the reason you cannot believe in a Christian God is because of lack of evidence, which clearly implies in order for me to live for something or someone, there's got to be an X amount of evidence. So the question is simple. What are you living for, and what's this preponderance of evidence that shows that you, convinces you, that whatever, whatever it is you're living for is true? Whatever it is that I'm living for, what, what shows that it's true, I don't know that it's a truth claim. I don't know that there's anything that could show that it's true or that it actually is true. I think we're talking about a classification error. If I determine what, what I want my life to be, there is no truth to that other than this is what I've determined my life to be. That's exactly the point that I was making, that I don't, I don't have, nor do I see any need for, nor do I see, do I see any actuality of an externally imposed truth or any kind of meaning. Sorry. Okay. Very often, atheists themselves admit that they have no evidence of God's absence, but they try to put a different spin on it. They'll tell you, no one can prove a universal negative, like there is no God. They think that this somehow excuses them from needing evidence against God's existence. But not only is it false that you cannot prove a universal negative, all you have to do is show that something is self-contradictory to prove that no such thing can exist. But more importantly, this claim is really an admission that it's impossible to prove atheism. Atheism involves a universal negative. You can't prove a universal negative. Therefore, atheism is unprovable. It turns out that it is the atheist who is believing a view for which there is and can be no evidence.